Hello, everybody. Well, got some big news uh, for you guys. So, uh, I guess you guys can see the article right here. Uh, so, it's been confirmed. I think it's been confirmed that Alpha Melina will reprise his role as Dr. Octavius on Tom Holland's Spider Man 3 movie. Wow, guys, this is big news here. Um, so, they really all trying to get together this, this Spider Verse. So, um, also, you know, back then it was also rumored, and I, I don't think it's been confirmed. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, but Tobey Maguire's Spider Man is supposed to appear, or supposed to be in it too, and Andrew Garfield's Spider Man is supposed to be in it too. It's just rumored right now, and also, it has. I don't think it has been officially confirmed, but about Jamie Fox returning as Electro, and I, don't get me wrong, I love I love uh, Jamie Fox as Electro. I don't know a lot of people didn't like him as Electro. I like his design and everything. You know, Jamie Fox is a good actor, and I thought he did a good job with that role. That's just me, and I I enjoyed that movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but that's just me. I really loved that movie, and I was disappointed back then when they didn't finish it. But um, sorry to get off topic, but uh, this is great news, guys. Alpha Molina is coming back. It's Doc Ock on here, and Doc and Doc, it's great choice because Alpha Molina was a great villain throughout that whole trilogy of the Tobey Maguire. I think he was the best. Part two is the best one anyway on in that trilogy. In that trilogy. <laughs> right now, my, my favorite ones is the Tom Holland ones. But um, Andrew Gar... I mean, I'm um, sorry. Uh, Alpha Malene was a great villain on there. Uh, Doc Ogg is a really interesting villain anyway. I liked his I liked his character. Uh, I like the way he looks, his design and everything. I always liked him in the uh, animated series too. And the, and the cart, you know, the... um. Uh yeah, the animation. I don't think I've I never actually watched the um one they had in two thousand. Uh yeah, here we go right here. This is the picture of him right here. So let's see if there's any more news. Okay, let's see if it's it's okay. Alpha Molina is returning, so I think it's been confirmed to the Spider-Verse, the actor who portrayed Dr. Evil Octavius uh, Dr. Ock in Tobey Maguire's 2004 Spider-Man sequel is reprising his role for the third installment of the Tom Holland led superhero blockbuster. Uh, let's see. And it also says the upcoming web single adventure is expected to feature multi multiple generations of Spider-Man actors. Oh, so maybe maybe it's true then. Jane Fox will reportedly appear as Electro, a villain that was first played in Andrew Garfield when Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, let's see. Spider-Man 3 will also include, you know, Doctor Strange's uh, character. Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch character, Doctor Strange, will be in it also. Um, but this, I guess doing some of the Spider-Verse. So we don't know the whole story of this movie. Um... But I'm assuming they're going to get some of the ideas from this movie right here, which was a great movie, guys. And if you guys have not seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse yet, you have got to check this movie out. It's, uh, this is based on uh, Miles Morales, and Spider-Man is older on this movie. Great movie, guys. Check this movie out. Uh, so, let's see if anything else on here. This is about the returning characters. Uh, of course, we know Zendaya, uh, Marissa Tomei, and Jacob Batalon will be in it. Which that dude lost a lot of weight. He, he looks great. Looks good. I, I commend them for that. Uh, I, I don't know how they're going to write it into the movie, but <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see how they're going to do that. Uh, let's see. I spy them. Okay, just talking about the... um. All right. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's all he said right now that he's returning uh, into the role. So, guys, this this movie is going to be big. I cannot wait to see this whenever they... whenever they, um, I think they're currently filming it now, whenever they do this. I cannot just see the interaction between Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. I think this is going to be amazing. We got two of the legendary Spider-Man. Well, I know a lot of people, a lot of people was uh, kind of divided with Andrew Garfield. I think Andrew Garfield did a good job. He was a different type of Peter Parker. He was a little bit darker, more emotional. Um, the first Spider-Man, he was more cartoonish. You know, Tobey Maguire is more like, 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 like you see in the, actually in the comic book. So he tried to do a darker tone with Amazing Spider-Man, which I thought it was fine. I liked it. I was kind of, I was really d disappointed when they uh, canceled that. The Sinister Six they were trying to do with that. They were trying to set up Sinister Six in that in that series. I loved all the movies. Um, well, three. Three is a little different now to me. I think three, three is okay on the in the Andrew, in the uh, Tom McGuire ones. And I used to love that movie, but watching it now, eh, it's okay. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, so if they want to do this. So they're doing this Spider Verse right now. Um, uh, since they you know they're bringing in all the they're bringing in Tom McGuire and they're bringing in um Andrew Garfield and also. Um, they also teased in Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring this up because maybe they can do that some kind of way in another ver a, a multiverse. Uh, they've teased, kind of teased uh, Miles Morales. Donald Glover uh, was, uh, I just put his cousin, I think. You know, his character on the, on the first one. Donald Glover, he was, um, they showed first appearance when he was um, trying to get uh, guns illegally from uh, Shocker. Uh, and uh, what's, what's it? Boking Woodbine's character. I forgot his character's name on there. Uh, they show first appearance, so I think it was supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be uh, Miles Morales' cousin. I think so. Some kind, sometime they probably eventually will put Miles Morales in the movie, and um, 
also, since uh, I, 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 they're probably not going to dwell on this story since their movies don't, they don't really, I mean, they count, I guess, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, so they got their own verse. They probably not going to mention everything that's going on in their world. Maybe not, because, you know, I, I, we have to be left to the last one. We don't know exactly what happened between him and Mary Jane on, on the uh, Tobey Maguire ones. You know, they had that thing going on with when he had when he had the Venom suit on him. And also, and then the second Amazing Spider-Man movie, the last time we left off is when uh, Gwen Stacy got, uh, died. Emma Stone portrayed her. She had got she died, and and Spider-Man was mourning for a while. So I'm 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 not, I'm not sure if they're gonna make this movie years later or they're gonna do it like I don't know what they're gonna do. But this is gonna be amazing, guys. This is gonna be probably gonna be Avengers Avengers level movie to see all these all the legendary Spider-Mans interact with the new Spider-Man, and also if they want to do you know, so I'll be also, back. Also, um bring Venom because you know it was rumored that Tom Holland Spider is supposed to supposed to appear on the new Venom movie. I'm not sure if that's true or not because we haven't got to see it yet because of the COVID. So that'd be another way to, to put to put Venom in there. If they want to do it if Sony's willing to do that, um, which I think so, so so far I guess they are. And then also I guess the we haven't seen the movie yet. I don't, I don't really care about Morbius. If they want to bring you know that in that trailer they show you can see the Morbius poster in, in the alleyway. You can see him. I guess this is a murderer or something on the run. So some kind of way, I guess, I don't know which spider verse he's supposed to be in, but huh, we haven't seen how that movie is yet. So I'm not really looking forward to, to uh, Morbius. I wasn't really into Morbius like that. That's just me, guys. I mean, don't get mad, please. <laughs> I'm quite sure Morbius is an interesting character, but I wasn't really a big fan of Morbius, uh, the vampire. Even on the anime series, I didn't really care for his story. It was, he was okay. My my favorite villain in Spider Man really is is um, Venom, and then Green Goblin would be on the bottom, and then they're probably Doc Ock, but Venom is my top villain in Spider Man. I don't know what I just find that character just interesting. I like the symbiote uh, family. So yes, guys, I'm really excited for this. Um, I hope all the film is going well, especially with COVID going crazy right now. They're currently filming it now. I'll be uh, back. They also, they had that. Sorry, guys. And I know also they just had that. Um, little teaser at some uh, online event. They didn't really show nothing. I mean, they showed, they kind of, they was just showing this Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. They showed a little bit of Tom Holland. Just They just clips from the movie. They didn't really show nothing. So it wasn't really, I guess, you know, teasing that they confirmed they're going to be in the movie, I guess. Um, but they had took it down. Uh, Sony took it down, but some people leaked it. I, I got I got to see it. It wasn't, I mean, it didn't really show nothing. I mean, it just showed clips from, the, from each of their movies. It, it wasn't really nothing. But um, I guess it's true. I guess everybody's coming back, and I and I hope I kind of hope everybody has big roles in this movie. Just don't have Tobey Maguire as a cameo, and don't have Andrew Garfield as a cameo. Even Doc Ock, don't have Doc Ock and Electro. Let them be in it throughout the whole movie. But I don't know what this movie is exactly going to be about because you know after we left off the last Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, it was uh, Mysterio had set up this uh, set up set him up to make it look like he was the one that did the attack. Um, in London, I think it was in London. Was it London, guys? I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing that he was the one that that did that, that hashed that evil plan in the last movie, and then uh, James, uh, jo Jonah Jameson um, had uh, showed you know uh, they brought on the screen showed everybody the whole world uh, that 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 uh, that took Tom Holland is Peter Parker is Spider Man. So we last we last found out that he's on the run. He's probably gonna be on the run. Maybe with him and Zendaya. So I don't know how they're going to write this into this. What, what is the multiverse or the Spider-Verse got to do with uh, what's going on with him? Maybe trying to fix fix what happened maybe and they can fix the time. But I don't know, guys. We'll see what they do with this. But I'm excited for this. I cannot wait for this. Um, I hope to God, whenever this is released, I hope to God the, the, the Corona is maybe better than maybe it's gone. We can actually go to the theaters and to enjoy these movies now or just... If not, put it on streaming, guys. They're doing what HBO Max do. I know some people don't like that, but get over it. It's COVID going on, right? So stop whining. And they're giving you guys a choice, theater or it's either theater or streaming. So quit complaining. So, yes, guys. So this is exciting news. Tell me know in the comments below if you guys are excited for this, too. Yeah, please. And, guys, please correct me if you want to because I'm, I'm just saying what I hope to see in this. And I could, I could be, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I could be wrong. So I don't know who. <laughs> This is what I hope to see in this. I, I'm really excited for this. So let me let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in this. And correct me if you want to. You know, you guys, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Uh, hit that thumbs up, guys, if you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the notification bell. Whatever I post new videos, you should be able to see it. 
hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And share it. Share it with friends and family. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.